my dear Lauren and David, I welcome you warmly in this beautiful church and this so very special day in your life. Lauren and I met 17 years ago when I moved to Michigan. She was my first true friend in school and she has remained that way ever since. She is relentlessly positive and uh, anyone that has met her is better off after meeting her. I've never heard anyone say a bad thing about her and she's a very lovable and uh, kind person. We have been through so many things together. I can't wait too much, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> and then Lauren met a boy. It took me a little while to get to know Dave. I knew he made my best friend very happy, so that was enough for me. I've seen the love you have for her and the care you take with her heart, and I am so thankful my best friend has a man like you by her side. Dave is my best friend and my absolute idol in everything that I do. He has the most integrity of anyone I've ever met in my life. Because he has an uncanny ability to make the right choice. And Dave, today, marrying Lauren is the best choice you've ever made. I'm just excited to start the rest of our lives together. I feel like we've been waiting for this moment to happen and now it's finally here. And I'm just so happy. Day's finally here. I couldn't be happier. Just wanted to tell you that I love you more than anything. I promise to always be there for you and um, look forward to all the adventures that we have coming. I love you so much and can't wait to see you today. As a father, I'm very excited for Lauren to be Dave's new wife. I'm kind of sad, too, that I'm not taking care of my little girl anymore, that somebody else is going to be doing that now. But again, uh, I know Dave loves you very much, and I can't think of a better person to take over my role uh, to take care of my little girl. I, David, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I, Lauren, take you, David, to be my husband. You love each other. You are so passionate about living together as a married couple. And now all your, your human qualities, your human love, now is transformed through this celebration into the great mystery of divine love. God, who is love, wants you to be part of his great mystery. And this is the mystery of the sacrament of the holy matrimony. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. My dear friends, after this such a beautiful celebration, I have the pleasure to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. David and Lauren. We warmly welcome you. We welcome you to celebrate David and Lauren. We welcome you to celebrate the D. And we, and we really, really, really welcome you here to celebrate you know, what we're gonna do here in the Gem Theater. But mostly, we wish that you just have an outstanding evening here tonight among family and friends and, and being together.
throughout my, my entire life, for our married life, Sue has had one consistent echoing wish. She wishes we had some daughters. But you know what? My son David just helped me. Early this afternoon, in a beautiful sacrament of matrimony, not only did David and Lauren become one, but we received the gift of a lovely daughter. Now, David, I also realize how lucky Lauren is to have you as her husband. Obviously they're in love, but they truly are best friends. They're so compatible. They balance each other out so well. They truly are just two amazing people that I, I could not be happier for. It's not about competition and it's not about perfection. But more than anything, and the only piece of advice I want to truly give you is to never compare your marriage to anyone else's. Because your marriage is just that, your marriage. Your marriage is perfect for you, and loving one another is all that matters.